What's up, beating guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's day. Um, I'm standing outside ESCP Berlin. They have six locations in the world, mainly in Europe. One is in Paris, Berlin, Madrid, London, Turin, Warsaw. ESCP is actually a part of French Chamber of Commerce. It is started in the 1800s. But what I'm here to look out for is to studying in this school does it change me as a person when I enter this school and when I come outside after I graduate? So what kind of transformation do I go through? And I'm going to be interviewing one of the students here. His name is Aditya. So Aditya is studying Master of Management for last one year now. Uh, anyway, I'm going to talk less and let him speak. Come here. He's here to speak about details specific to his course and what are the other courses taught here and what kind of flexibility ESCP gives amongst other six campuses, including this one. Every campus has their own specialization. Um, that's what I've been told by him. And uh, the reason we are standing outside, that's this is the whole building and it goes way beyond inside. Uh, we just don't have permission, so we had to stand outside. Anyway, so Aditya, why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, this is Aditya from Chennai, India. I did my bachelor's at NIT Trichy and I came for this program, Masters in Management, last year. I joined the Paris campus for the first semester and then I moved to Berlin for my second semester. This is the interesting part about my school and this program. We can choose to study in multiple campuses and it gives you that flexibility to choose whatever you want to study. I, I feel like you're super pumped the way you started. <laughs> I'm really excited. So we're going to talk about details. So uh, if this is of your interest, keep watching. We're going to just start walking on these sides. Uh, these are all what you see as uh, yeah, ESCP's campus. Aditya, why don't we talk a bit more of your bachelor's? What have you done and how much did you score? Do you come with a work experience or not? So that someone sitting there can imagine like, ah, huh, okay, that's what my profile looks like. Oh, I need to ramp up that thing, that thing, you know? Hmm. That's why. Yeah, right. so I basically started with my uh, bachelor's in NIT Trichy. Okay. I studied metallurgical engineering uh -huh. and I graduated in 2014. And uh, as you had asked for my GPA, so I be open to sharing it. I okay. had about 8.3 on 10. All right. That's and then good. after my graduation, I had a couple of years of work experience in uh, e-commerce industry. So what were you doing there? I was working as a business analyst in the analytics team. Uh huh. All right. And uh, over there, I realized I needed to do a master's relating to management. Uh -huh, right. Talking to a lot of mentors in my company. I was looking at uh, top business schools in uh, Europe and the US. Right. And uh, for this Masters in Management program, ESCP comes in the top five. So right. I felt it was natural to apply to such a top school and one of the oldest business schools in the world. Aditya, I want to cut down the whole chase of admissions process and mm. how to apply. Can you keep it very short and to the point and tell people how to apply for this MIM course? To apply to this program, you just go to the ESCP website mm -hmm. and you create a login ID and password. Okay. And once you're in the portal, right. you choose the Masters in Management program and just uh, enter the portal. And over there, you would need to upload certain documents right. to apply to this program. What are they? You have five specific documents which are a must to apply to this program. Mm -hmm. So number one is your GMAT or your GRE score, okay. which is a test of your quantitative and verbal abilities. Right. Number two, you need the IELTS, uh -huh. which is a test of uh, your foreign language skills for English. Mm -hmm. And number three is your curriculum vitae. Right. And uh, then you have this SOP, which is the statement of purpose, mm -hmm. saying why you're motivated to apply through this program, why this school, and why you are a particular fit for the course. Okay. And finally, fifth and final thing is the specific essays that ESCP asks. Okay. So three essays which have like about 200 word limits. Okay. Just a follow up question on documents. First point what you mentioned is you need GRE or GMAT. Yes. So it's either GRE or GMAT. Yes, exactly. Right. And you gave GMAT. Yes, GRE? I wrote the GMAT exam. And how much you scored roughly? I scored around 700 on the GMAT. And what's the requirement? So usual requirement for GMAT is about 650 to 700 and anything more than 700 is like a very good score. Okay. And sense, uh, yeah. if someone has written the GRE, yeah. I would say anything about 315 gives you a fighting chance. 315. Exactly. Okay. All right. But there are people who have scored a bit lesser and still got in because they have a wonderful profile in other aspects. Uh -huh. So this is not the only part of the uh, profile that the school looks at. All right. So they look at the 
holistic approach exactly like the, the overall profile yes with regards to ilts how much uh, is the requirement and how much you scored roughly so i scored 7.5 on the ielts wow okay. and usually uh, schools ask for 6.5 plus that is fine enough and if you have done your uh, uh, undergraduate in english yeah. you could actually get ielts waived off okay so you either submit a document from your university saying you studied your undergrad in english yeah. or some schools have specific documents uh, where you need to fill down that you studied in english mm -hmm. and get it attested by someone okay so for all these uh, queries it's always better to email the admissions committee yeah, and they'll yeah. give you a clear idea exactly yeah, yeah. and last part just want to shed some light on that essay mm. three essays yes. or two essays three essays so three essays and who decides the topic and what do i write on so they give a specific topic actually for my year there were three essays one on extracurricular activities okay so you explain uh, what you have done in terms mm -hmm. of extracurriculars have you been part of ngo have you been part of some social club or okay. have you done some finance courses right. and stuff like that and then uh, the second essay is on your work experience okay so if you don't have like official work experience full time you could list down experience from your internship and your uh, other activities okay okay and the final essay is a bit more tricky because it talks about international experience okay so as you all know some people might not have official international experience yeah so it is imperative that you identify places where you worked in an international environment and try to relate that in the essay okay and as i had mentioned earlier usually the word limit is 200 words per essay right right and is there a official requirement that i need to have a work experience to apply this course not exactly because i have uh, people who are directly out of college right. so freshers and there are people with up to 3 years of experience okay. so ideally 0 to 3 years of work experience right. is the range and you have people from varied backgrounds so it's not necessary you should have a specific bachelor's degree to apply to this program in escp right that was so, my next question like uh, who can apply for this course right? exactly so i have a person who has done bachelor's in slavic studies mm -hmm. so it's something related to russia yeah and uh, i also have people who have done psychology and of wow. course a lot of engineers um, other than next question which really brought me to make this video what really caught my attention about your school is you can travel multiple locations within your own brand Yes. not a partner university you have exactly. so many locations can you explain a bit more and also the course structure yes sure so i have done my first year already as mm -hmm. i told in the previous parts of the video right so i studied in paris and berlin mm -hmm. and the usual course structure works this way it's very simple you start with your first year study okay. two semesters Correct. and the choice of campuses is left to you okay but the only thing in ESCP is at the end of the course you should have studied in at least two campuses uh -huh. this is a requirement to keep in mind okay okay yeah. great and once you do your first year uh -huh. you can choose to do an internship a minimum of 6 months and you can actually choose to extend your internship as well so in this way the school gives you the flexibility to do an internship of up to 1 year wow and okay. so now we are done with two semesters and your internship yeah. and then you come back to school for your second year you finish your remaining two semesters Ah. and over here you can specialize in different subjects so for example the paris campus offers a specialization in finance okay. berlin offers specialization in entrepreneurship ah. london offers a specialization in business consulting so depending on your interests and what you want to do you can choose to study in that particular campus and that particular specialization all right so overall it gives you a complete experience of europe it okay. also gives you the flexibility to complete the course in two or three years depending on your choices this internship is not considered as a part of curriculum it is on top of your studies it is on top of my studies but it's but also a requirement yeah we have around uh, 15 to 16 credits just for the internship right that's what i want to ask you okay so it is mandatory basically yes to get your degree you need to do an internship internships okay cool cool aditya uh, one question which concerns me the most and it should concern you also is if you are making any uh, decision to go and study abroad you should consider two two important points one is what is the quality of students you're going to study with and what is the quality of professors you're going to learn from what is with escp in in your experience i had a combination of professors actually okay there were some who had done a phd in a specific subject and directly came into academia okay and there were other professors who had worked in the industry uh huh uh from companies like mercedes and daimler wow. and they've actually taken up teaching as a passion now so right. so it was a nice mix of professors and uh, regarding students as i've already mentioned yeah. we have students from more than 15 countries 
we speak multiple languages so you kind of understand the thought process of students coming from different backgrounds and one very important thing about ESCP so when you're doing a group project yeah. they make sure that there are people from at least five or six nationalities in your group so that oh. you don't stick around in your comfort zone and right, you actually right. try to move out of it and develop as an individual right this right. is something very important and I found it very interesting in ESCP in my experience with regards to this point especially um, I mean, you know, when I was studying, we also had a group projects, we also had a uh, class presentation and all of us were like, okay, we're going to do it together, all our friends sitting around, you know. Yeah. But so that's a good thing, man, to keep it, uh, to bring in different points of view on one specific topic and the way people think also. When you go internationally, you'll understand what I'm talking is because people come from South America, they have different approach to business versus people come from states versus people come from India versus people, because especially India, what I know is, we all are so much entrepreneur mind and competitive, right? And we all want to develop something. Yes. So Aditya, one last question to you and the most important. I'm coming this far. What is my ROI, right? I'm investing so much into studies and getting a degree from one of the top notch universities in the world. What about job scenario in your case? In, in, with studying in e, from ESCP, what kind of value does it add into real job world? So ESCP as a business school is one of the top schools in France. So it is very well known there. And even in Germany, it's the number one school for masters in management. Yeah. So as a brand, you get a lot of value out of it, number one. On to other points, I would like to mention that German or French, whichever country you are in, the language of the country becomes very important. Okay. The more fluent you are in the language, it enhances your job opportunities. Correct. Coming specific to ESCP, we have a lot of networking events. These companies come to our campus okay. and uh, take a look at our CVs. This also gives us the opportunity to get in touch with the HR of the company. And this is a specific advantage. ESCP actually smoothens this process for us. Okay. And also there are a number of workshops conducted around the year mm -hmm. to tailor your CV to European standards and also uh, modify your cover letter to explain why you want to apply for a particular company. Okay. So a few people from outside and a few professors in the school conduct these workshops and these are free of cost and as part of the program. So this is also very important when it comes to tailoring your CV to the European market. So considering these two points, I think it's very, very strong in okay. terms of career uh, development and career opportunities. And one thing I would like to reiterate, do learn the language of the country you are in. Be right. a Roman in Rome, so learn German if you're in <laughs> Berlin, learn French if you're in Paris. That's very important. That's cool, man. Um, I said last question, but one more question which popped up. So, how important is internship uh, in your point of view? And how does ESCP help you? Do you have a career service who, who finds an internship for you or you have to do your struggles by yourself? So, we have a career portal. Where, they, portal, okay. where you, they have uploaded a list of internships available in Berlin, Paris, Madrid and all the cities. So we can apply by attaching our CV over there. Okay. And it is actually very interesting because some of these companies offer their jobs only to top schools like ESCP. Wow. Okay. We have a career services advisor in each campus. Okay. So they can conduct uh, counseling sessions. They assess your profile and say where you can apply and stuff. And very interesting about internships, what I've noted, yeah. to convert to full-time jobs, at least in city like Berlin, if you have an internship in the company, it definitely helps. Okay. So if you've worked in the company as an intern and they know you, mm -hmm. it's better for them to hire you rather than hire someone completely new. Makes so sense. I think internship is an important part of also finding a full-time job here. And uh, I think it's also why ESCP has made it a mandatory requirement of the course. Right, I right. Guess. One of the points what I, really um, I'm a strong believer of is of course you are get, getting a lot of opportunities to prove yourself right yeah. your school is helping your brand is helping where you're studying you're getting so much knowledge hmm. in the school uh, but at the end you know all these things will get your one foot inside the organization but if you don't prove your worth um, everything is waste right yes you also have to prove and believe in yourself and also be clear in your head what do you want to do exactly yes right yes. do you believe in that Yes, it's, it's really important over your first year to assess what are your interests right. which feel suits you as a person because if you're a very introvert person it is going to be really hard to get into a field like consulting. This is just one example I can give you. And they also offer free language classes in the school 
Wow. So they are giving you all the opportunities. So as a student, it is just up to how you utilize these opportunities and make the best use of it. Right, right. And at the end, don't blame schools that they didn't do anything for me. It's actually you who didn't do that. Exactly. Right? So uh, the idea of a spoon feeding cannot be expected here. Yeah. But they give you the opportunities. You make use of them. And in my batch, I think 90% of the Indian students who came here uh, have uh, managed to secure internships. So it's wow. a very positive picture out wow. here. Alright guys, that's it about EACP. Thanks a lot Aditya for uh, coming on my channel. He also has a channel which I'm going to link it in the description. He makes a, he talks about MIM and management, yes. right? So I talk about masters in management courses. Right. I give you information about specific courses across Europe. So you could uh, subscribe to my channel and I will be posting more content very soon. And cool. thanks uh, Nikolesh for the opportunity. It was wonderful meeting you. I really find a lot of motivation after meeting you. <laughs> so uh, guys, stay tuned to his, his channel and continue watching his videos. He's doing a wonderful job. Thank you. I paid him for this. <laughs> I paid him to say this. Anyway, man, uh, that was great meeting you. Um, I hope you guys have got a glimpse of ESCP from whatever he shared because it was his personal experience um, if you have any doubts any questions do not hesitate to reach out to me or directly to ESCP management on their website all right I'll see you guys next time bye bye